The Temples of Kamakura, Japan. The first temple on the Japan National Tourist Organization Walk in Kamakura is the Engakuji Temple, right at the foot of the Kitakamakura Station. Admission, 300 yen, like most of the temples in Kamakura. So get your yen coins ready, you're gonna need them. Your 300 yen admission doesn't get you just into one temple, but into a big complex. And the main gate here, the Sanmon, is quite impressive. Two stories with a second story that looks like you could almost live inside of it. Many of the temples in Kamakura date back hundreds of years to the year 1100 or 1200. This staircase, I don't think it's been used in a long time. It looks kind of slippery. The Saraden Hall is a national treasure. Built in the 16th century, it houses what is claimed to be a tooth of Buddha. Kenshoji is the second temple on the walk from Kitakamakura Station, just 15 minutes away, and it's considered the number one Zen temple here in Kamakura. And the hall behind me is the largest Buddhist temple in eastern Japan. This is also a very large complex with many different temples. The Sanmon, or Main Gate, another impressive structure, was built in 1754. Behind the head priest's living quarters is a wonderfully maintained Zen garden that is a great place just to enjoy and meditate on the peacefulness. And the national treasure at this temple is the bell. Bong. This bell dates back to the origins of this temple and was cast in the year 1255. Continuing to walk down that main street from Kitakamakura is uh, the Shinto Shrine, Surugu Hachimangu Shrine, a Shinto shrine built in the 12th century. And uh, from here, there's also beautiful views of Kamakura. Of course, before partaking in that view, you'll have to walk up a good-sized staircase, but the view is worth it from the top, as you can see right down Kamakura's main shopping street and see the beautiful red Tori gates. One thing you'll notice about this shrine is it's much more colorful than the other temples that we saw, and that's because this is a Shinto shrine. But the number one attraction in Kamakura is the Daibatsu, the giant Buddha. And the admission is actually cheaper than the temples, only 200 yen. He's been here since the year 1252, and even tsunamis have come through here and wiped out the structures that have been around the Daibatsu, but the Daibatsu has remained. On the back of the Buddha, there's two windows, Wonder what those are for? That's to ventilate the inside of the Buddha, because for an extra special 20 yen, you can go inside the Buddha. I've always wanted to see what the inside of a Buddha looks like. And now, I know. Seeing the Daibatsu is worth a visit to Kamakura all by itself. The temples and the quaint town just top off an excellent destination.